What's up y'all, this is Francesca and I'm going to show you some of the hairstyles I do to get this messy mop on top of my head inside of my helmet. So if you'd like to know why I always tie my hair back when I ride, I wrote an article about it on my blog at ladiesinthefront.com. I'm also going to be posting a shorter video on TikTok if you don't want to watch me mess with my hair and you just want to see uh, some styles to get your hair up under your helmet, then that'll be up there for you too at Ladies in the Front. We're just going to start with a simple braid. This is probably the most effective way to tie your hair back under your helmet. Um, and I never do a French braid, I always start at like the base of my head or like the very top of my neck. And this is because if you start at the top, then it probably won't fit in your helmet correctly and you'll have pressure points in your helmet and they'll hurt your head throughout the day as you ride. So I always start at the base of my neck. And if you have really long hair like me, then you can just tuck this into the back of your jacket to keep it from flying around. Most of the time it stays secure like that for me. Sometimes it does tend to fly out as you like turn your head and move around. Um, but it's not really it's not really that bothersome once it's in the braid. It keeps it pretty secure. Once you get the hang of it, it won't take that long either. I'm not going to post like a full-on tutorial. There are plenty of hair tutorials on YouTube. I'm just showing you really quick how I do it and how it fits under my helmet like this. This next one is my go-to. This is what I do on a regular basis. Mostly because for work, I like to keep my hair up off my shoulders and just out of the way, which is also really great for riding. Just to have your hair like completely secure to your head and distraction free and not like whipping you around in the face. Um, if you don't take the time to do this one right though, then it might come out as you ride. So you really gotta like make sure your spiral is tight and secure it to the base of your head. Uh, but this is probably my favorite way to go just because of the quickness of it and keeping it like completely secure. Up next we have a double braid. I personally don't really like doing this. I feel like it would work a lot better if you have shorter hair than I do. But for me, it just, it doesn't really make sense when a single braid down the center keeps my hair in place more effectively than this does. But if your hair is not long enough to tuck into your jacket in the single braid securely anyway, then this might just be the way to go for you. It is kind of more comfortable having your hair like parted, like how it naturally falls and securing it that way. So I do see the appeal from that. Also, it'll lead into this next one. This one, I don't know what to call it, but it's really easy to transition once you have like the two little side pigtail type braids. Uh, this was inspired by racing and how the professional female racers tie their hair back. I've noticed that a lot of them don't do like buns or hairstyles where their hair is like shortened and fully secured like up into like some kind of knot. It's down in either a braid or a ponytail. If you've ever seen like Patricia Fernandez race, she has her hair in a ponytail but she has a bunch of hair ties securing her hair into that single ponytail. One day I'd love to start racing baggers and I imagine this is how I'll tie my hair back when I do. That's all guys. There's a few more on my TikTok if you want to go check those out. It's a shorter video, but thanks for watching. Have a good day.